How's it going guys? Welcome back to Kindergarten 2. We're kind of in the home stretch here. We're kind of out of options. Breaking Sad is the only mission we actually have left before we can go to the finale, which is very exciting. <laughs> Get to see how all this comes together. Breaking Sad, start the mission by annoying Miss Applegate once with Cindy and once by yourself. Doesn't necessarily have to be in that order, we'll see. I need the Monstermon plushy thing and whatever that the uh, potion is. I don't remember at all. Felix's strange chemical. That's the one we want. Seems like annoying her would be so easy. Usually just like talking to her counts as annoying her. Oh, it's you. How's uh how's it going? Are you okay? I'm I'm just great. A little tired maybe or something. You wouldn't happen to have any of those pills you had yesterday. No, sorry. Stop bothering me. The bell hasn't rung yet, so I don't have to put up with you right now. But I... No! Not today! I'm so close to snapping right now, and I'm gonna need all my energy for when Cindy causes an issue. Get out of my face! Let her get herself together. It's just the immediate stress just breaking out in hot sweats. Cindy, I got a mission. I thought we were together. Sorry, honey. Uh, ouch. Because I, I think uh, the, you were pretty awful. She gave me the ti they gave me the tissue. So ouch. Oh, here's a tissue. Either way, I I still just get one. Now will you help me get a boyfriend? I got better things to do. Oh, I didn't totally block out that as a path already, did I? Wow, did it ever not take long to botch that? I thought we were together. I disagree. You're pretty awful. Oh, I must have clicked ouch to get the tissue then. All right, carrying on. Easy there, leftovers. We wouldn't want there to be another domestic dispute in another school now, would we? I'm always ready for a domestic dispute. Good! So am I! <laughs> no! I am not putting up with this today! I am way too tired and dizzy and... And your behavior will not be tolerated! Ow! Hey, stop it! It hurts! Miss Applegate, stop! We do not physically discipline our students here. We're a little on edge after what happened yesterday, but please remain civil to each other. Just for today. Oh, fine. Just for today. Thank you, Miss Applegate. She's not going to get detention or st whatever it's called, study, whatever it is <laughs> we get locked up. Go to hell, Cindy. You first, you washed up cow. Mental and abuse is fine, though. Just no hitting. Uh, stupid Cindy. Mm, always be an awful good go inside and cool off. I'm about to freaking lose it. Maybe the lunch lady can make me a sandwich. Whoa, dude, that was impressive. What are you talking about? You really got under Applegate's skin. She looks like she's about to snap. So what? I'm just saying. One really loud noise or one more incident might completely break her. See if anyone around here has something. Thanks for the suggestion. I think that Carla girl has a firecracker or something. That should do the trick. That was exactly where I was headed. Thanks, Bugs. Loud noise was enough of a hint. Uh, Carla, strange question. Metal detector, how would she know? Can you get stuff in? Sure. Hook me up with the firecracker. Solid stuff. Can you get me in the other way? I need the ramp. Maybe we can work something out. Uh, I'll just pay three bucks. There we go. Because otherwise I'm fairly certain Penny would take it away. I'm, I'm almost guaranteeing it. I have all this extra time. Should I plant the firecracker like at her desk or something like that? That seems like it would make, make sense. Or I attach it to something that she would use. Planting it in like the women's washroom upstairs is the only other thing I can think of, but the monitors are, are gonna be up here, yeah. We're all that stands between chaos and order. Do you understand? Yeah, bro, I get it. It's hall monitoring. It's not that big a deal. Not that big a deal. If you're not gonna take this <gasps> student, student in the halls, before the bell, study hall, study hall. Jeez, you really are a little spaz, aren't you? This is your chance to prove yourself, rookie. Take this kid to the principal's office. Fine, I'll take care of it. Go monitor downstairs or something. Just sails his way off with his little wings there. Look, man, I don't really care that you're up here. That little dweeb can fall down those stairs for all I care. He seems a little uptight. No kidding. 
Just to stick it to the little jerk, why don't you take this? It's good through morning time. He can't do much to you when you're carrying it. Thanks. Now, let's get you back outside. Come on, dude. Don't come back in or Stevie will flip. Well, never mind. Just head down to class, get a move on. I just kind of assumed that the hall monitor pass would become useful. Oh, she's not going to bust me, is she? Oh my. You heard the bell. You're not supposed to... I'm sorry. I couldn't help but notice that you have some contraband on you. I'm afraid I'm going to have to confiscate it. Well, damn it. The bell already rang. I thought I was safe. It, like... The timing of it's weird, because now the bell rang twice and I got busted. I guess maybe going and getting the hall pass isn't what I needed? I don't think this is my cubby. I don't know which one is mine, but I'm thinking I could stash the firecracker, maybe? I need it... There! Oh, okay, I think this is my cubby. I can leave something here, leave the firecracker. Okay, I, uh, thought that I would have to try and get it into the room here somehow to try and set it off. I still don't have a lighter. Do I have to go get that from Monty? Why does the bell have to be so loud? Oh, you're here early, somehow. You're definitely more eager to learn today than I am. Yep, that's the reason. Well, take your seat and try not to bother me too much. My head hurts. Okay, I'll be a quiet little saint. Okay, kids, teacher has a headache. Ah, go play with your toys. Firecracker's still here. Just pop it immediately, I guess. Seems like she's doing okay. Seems normal to me. Nothing wrong there. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. I hate teaching. I hate this new school. I hate children. I hate everything. Just frothing at the mouth. <laughs> that really was not that difficult to crack her. She really was having a tough day. Tough couple days, I guess. Te Nugget saw teacher in the hallway. Why is teacher so sad? She snapped. So, Nugget is not the craziest person anymore? Possibly. This pleases Nugget. Nugget will carry his new sanity status with honor. That's great, Nugget. I don't know if I would go that far, but yeah, sure, man. If you want to make a little something out of it, then... Yeah, give yourself a little pat on the back with that one remaining arm. Now I guess I have to go interact with Monty? I, I don't really have a lot of direction of where to go with the rest of this. I could possibly take that money. I'm not sure how worth it that would be. I don't have a hall pass still. I have to find out where she ran off to, but I don't want to get caught here. Oh, hey, new kid. Say you're familiar with that teacher of yours, right? Yeah, why? She seems to be having a, um, problem? I'm not that good in these kinds of situations. I'll let you by if you go talk to her so I don't have to. Okay. Cool. She's over there trying to break into the cafeteria. I'll see what I can do. Oh, she's so distraught. It's not fair. I need them so bad. What's wrong? The pills! I haven't had any since yesterday. There aren't any anywhere. I'm losing my mind without them. No one has any? No! The supply chain completely broke down after the principal died. Even Monty said he... <gasps> That's it! What? We'll have Monty make more pills. That little, little dweeb is so smart, I'm sure he could do it. And it would be good for his little side business. Okay, he's right. Get going. Go up to that fancy classroom and ask what he needs to make Mama her pills. Ugh, don't call yourself Mama around all these kindergartners. Got it. Stevie! Yeah, yeah, I heard you. Good. Let the other deadbeat monitor know as well. Anyone who gets in this kid's way today is going to be straight up murdered. Do you hear me? Okay, okay. Don't even know why we need hall monitors at this point. All you do is tell your kids to ignore me. Let me know what Monty says. I'll head back to the classroom and wait for you there. I'll take care of it. You know me, I got my, my slime ball hoodie on, my nice uh, sleuthing hoodie on. Where I do whatever I please, get things done, it's the name of the game. Do you ever feel like your job isn't really all that important? I don't have a job. And realistically, you probably shouldn't either. You're like seven years old or something like that. Monty, 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 I need some pills. Yeah, me too, buddy. After what happened yesterday, the whole supply chain broke down. There aren't any left. Could you make more? I'm trying to get the ingredients. 
Those rich twins' families owns the company that makes the chemical used in them, but without it, I can't make them. I have a vial of it, don't ask why. And maybe, like, exhausted gunpowder will be an ingredient or something. What? No way! Then it looks like we're back in business. You're gonna have to help me get some stuff. What else do you need? I'm gonna need a chemistry set and a couple of hair samples from people who still have the stuff in their system. How do I get the chem set? It's right there behind the rope. But today's science lesson is about plants, not chemistry. We'll have to find some way to change it. Who has it in their system? Well, Miss Applegate. And by the looks of her this morning, she's going through some heavy withdrawal. Who else? Well, Nugget was obviously a pill popper. I wouldn't be surprised if he still has it running through him. Is that everyone? I heard a rumor that the principal of our last school was using kids to make them. I wouldn't be surprised if Billy had the key to the whole thing in his jeans. Where's Billy? You got me. I didn't see him or Lily this morning. Probably skipping after everything that happened yesterday. I'll figure something out. Oh, and if you're getting hair samples, I'd recommend using scissors. Plucking hairs would take forever. I got it. Under control. I wonder if I should have grabbed that money so I could afford the scissors now. I don't remember how much they cost. Scissors are only a dollar. Ah, oh, I'm all set then. I really need to like set myself up in a way that I can come back into the school. Like that I can go down to that uh, basement area where Billy and Lily are. I don't really know how I'm going to get there otherwise. Can I immediately take anyone's hair sample? Maybe it's not the right time of day for that. What did I, what did he say? Can he make the pills? We need hair samples. Of course, must still be in my system. And nuggets, nugget, front and center. Yeah, just help me out here. I, I'm doing all the legwork. You just use your authority to like move the pieces. What does large teacher lady want with poor pleading nugget? I need a lock of your hair. Get over here so I can pluck a few. Nugget requires all of his hair. Teacher may not have any. Give it to me. No! Nugget will not give teacher his hair. Oh, Nugget. The issues you've caused here. You don't know what you've done. Attention, new kids. Are, are you just gonna run the class for now? Oh, here's your passbook. If you get an adult to sign it, you're allowed out in the halls. Don't get any crazy ideas, though. You're only allowed to use it once per day. Thanks. Thanks for delivering that for once ever. Seems like you were supposed to do it every single time and it so rarely ever came up. <sighs> oh yeah. Your teacher is otherwise occupied. Everyone head to the cafeteria for lunch. Hey kid. You got me thinking about this whole pill thing so I made a few moves after Danner kicked you to the curb. What kind of moves? Ooh, did you change the lesson plan already for me? I talked to that Carla girl. She's really well connected here. I like that in a woman. <laughs> so? Oh yeah, she mentioned that she saw some kids sneak in through the sewer grate that Nugget was trapped in this morning. Who were they? She said they didn't really know them, but they were wearing blue and brown hoodies. I wouldn't be surprised if they were still down there. Could be Lily and Billy. Anything else? Well, you'll need to get down under the school. I can give you my elevator key, but I'm gonna need it back by science time or else I can't get up the stairs. I've shafted him on this before, that's fine. As far as getting that chemistry set, Carla said she could help us out. I paid half of what she wanted, you get the other half. Fine, not too happy about that, hopefully it's only a dollar. She'll And then she'll take care of changing the lesson plan. The wheelchair guy said someone would be coming to see me, but I didn't realize it was you. Did you manage to sneak that firecracker in? Sure did. Interesting. Never seen someone able to sneak contraband in on their first day before. Well, a deal's a deal. I'll hook you up with chemistry class. Sweet. No problem. After your chemistry class. Oh. Seems like Monty probably didn't have to pay at all, seeing as maybe she would have done it strictly for me bringing in the contraband, but hey, that's fine. Uh, she's just kind of playing both sides. That's her prerogative. Very entrepreneurial. No problem. Enjoy enjoy your chemistry class. Will do. Now I just need to slip on out of here and go pluck hairs. Maybe talk to Monty first. How's it going? Check out the basement yet? I did not. Nugget is busy being chased around, I guess. You can't leave. You haven't eaten yet. Uh, I guess I still need that $1 to buy a burger. Oh, and I have the passbook. 
Perfect. But now I do not have a lot of time to do anything. Hey, man, you need a pass to be out here. I have one. Uh, bathroom pass. Okay, go ahead. Teacher, have you cornered Nugget? Ah, it's locked. Oh, elevator key. Elevator key is what I'm using here. Use the key. I guess I don't need to go upstairs if Carla's taking care of the chemistry thing. I'll just slip on down here and hope there's not a horrifying monster ready to eat me, you know? And I have the little plushie to alert them. That's the signal. Safe to come out. I've kind of talked to them about this. Who are you guys? It's Lily and Billy. We've been spying on this new school and we've discovered a lot. Do you want to hear about it? I'm actually just here for a hair sample. A hair sample? From me? But I was being tested on yesterday. There's no way I can give you my hair. That's exactly why I need it. It's funny that I jumped straight to this. It's like, yeah, yeah, you guys are alive. Whatever, you're hiding in the basement. I don't care. Hair, please? Well, too bad. Get out of here. I thought we could trust you since you had the secret plush. But I guess we were wrong. We'll fix the school all by ourselves. Okay, then. You better get going, kid. We can't have anyone come looking for you and have our cover blown. Well, shit, all of this is going exceedingly poorly. I've received no one's hair yet. Gotcha! Now give me some of your hair, you little degenerate! I need it! I need it for my bells! Put Nugget down! Nugget will not give the tweaker teacher any of his beautiful hair! <laughs> the tweaker teacher? Accurate. What do you want? I'm trying to get his hair, but it's not coming out! I need something to cut it with! What strong roots he has! Will these help? You bet they will! Okay, Nugget! Time for a haircut! Oh, she's just gonna, like, saw off his head or something. No! <laughs> oh, poor Nugget. There. See? Was that so hard? Now go play or do whatever it is that you do. Nugget's hair. Nugget's beautiful hair. I said to go play! Hmm. There's the hair. I expect some pills by the end of the day. I also need your hair. Done! Here! So, we're ready to make the pills then? I also need Billy's hair. Billy! He's here? I thought he was skipping like he did yesterday. He won't give me his hair. The hell he won't. You march right back to wherever he's hiding and demand he gives you his hair. Understood? Good. Take these scissors and come back with that hair. And you better have enough to afford your lab fee by the time you come back. Well, I can go to the cubby in the classroom is I think the only way to get that. There, there, Nugget. Poor, poor, sweet Nugget. I'll just slip on by. Don't mind me, Stevie. Ah, oh, you're still running errands for the crazy teacher of yours? Yes, great. Go ahead. Don't know why even bother having me here. Oh, bye, Stevie. I'm glad that that carried through. I kind of forgot that we had already cooked up that deal. First things first is I'm going to need to grab the money so I can afford the science fee. And then, can I just slip out the back here? No, I can just pop in the elevator again. Oh, shit. Not very good, is it? Oh, but it'll be really easy to claim some hair. This is Billy's head. It appears to have been removed from his body without his consent. <laughs> Slip off just a few, a few quick hairs. I kind of want to just poke around a little bit more. This is Billy's body. The head has been removed. His hoodie is still mostly intact. Oh, a tattered ass outfit. I did not expect that to turn into anything more. Another new outfit unlocked for running over to the side here, but it also resulted in getting super murdered by the big ass monster. Don't get too close to the creature. That's fair. There, it did, it, the other time it killed me in one of the other storylines, it kind of indicated that, like, there was something you could bring to it that would allow you to sneak by it, and obviously that's just not something I have right now, I guess. I guess that's everything. I only have the one apple left. That's the wrong doorway. But yeah, I just have to return back to the class there and give, give her... I don't know if I need to go back out to the schoolyard and give her everything. She doesn't really need anything, but I could just confirm that I got it all. Did you get Billy's hair? Please tell me you did. Sure did. Good. Just make sure you have your lab fee ready for science. I will. If I say I might be a little short, will she give me money? You better find some money in a hurry. Do you have any? I'm a teacher. What do you think? Good point. So get looking. Okay, okay. It's very peculiar. I feel like the income of the average teacher in Canada is, like, much more reasonable than it is in the States. That's just quite anecdotal. I don't know that for sure, but it always surprises me that it's like a running joke that teachers aren't well off. Oh, yeah, done with the elevator key. Yes. Yes, I was going to see if he had anything to sell or whatever. I don't even know, but 
Yeah, I have to make sure I get that back to him so he doesn't kill me later. Good. Bring these hair samples to me in science class and we'll see if we can get this business up and running. Sounds good. Ooh, I like being folded into the mix here that I'm not just like a one-off uh, component of it. I can I could be a really useful mule. I'm really good at getting things in past Penny. Finally, just one more class and then I get to go home. Anyone who wants to pay the lab fee can go to science classroom. Everyone have to go to science, yes. Today's lesson is about chemistry? That's odd, I thought it was plants. Anyway, chemistry is an extremely dangerous subject, which is precisely why you'll be doing it today instead of me. Everyone take a turn on the chemistry set. Why don't you go first, wheelchair boy? My name is Monty. Jeez, everyone is such a jerk to the differently abled around here. Getting real sick of it. Dr. Danner overall, besides the occasional murders, has had been like one of the more approachable teachers. Yeah, it's a real dick move all of a sudden. You got all the stuff I need? I do. Good. We're in business then. I'm gonna get started, but we do have a small problem, which is... Everyone gets a turn on this thing. It's a very delicate process. We need to get everyone to pass on using this thing. Sounds complicated. Oh, not not pass it on to them, like to pass on it, like they don't want to do it. It won't be easy, but a little persuasion, I'm sure we can get it done. So what do I do? Here's some junk I didn't sell today. See if you can get everyone to give up their turn on this thing. Uh, we have the flower, which will be for... Actually, I'm not really sure who is going to enjoy which. This one is obviously for Penny. Carla? Crap. I think that might be Penny's doll. I don't remember. Let's just ask about it. It's just a green flower that grows around the back of the school. And this? What is this? This reminds me of, like, the Borat scene where he's like, this? What is this? Like, that's butter. And this? What about this? It's also butter. You're in the butter section. Okay. And what is this? <laughs> or it's like, it's cheese or something. I don't remember the precise thing. Don't get your hopes up. It's not a real gem. But you might be able to fool someone into thinking it is. Ooh, that sounds like the sort of thing Carla would fall for. And this? It's just an old doll. It's kind of similar to the one in the toy chest downstairs. Got it. Sounds great. Ozzy's coming up next. Did I get your name right? I actually like mixing chemicals around. It's kind of nice. Here's a gem? I don't know. Uh, is this real? I have a feeling that it's not, but thanks, I guess. Well, that went terribly. Way to go, kid. Ozzy just kicked me off the chemistry set. I tried to stop him. And I tried to not kill you for failing me. Did you succeed? <laughs> no. Great. <laughs> now I know where I stand in this little operation. That I'm, uh, I'm considered fully disposable here. The flower, I guess? What? No, I'm allergic! Oh, that's right. Jeez, that was forever ago. That was like the first storyline we did. Get that flower away from me! Totally forgot about that. Carla... Crap. It seems like she would fall for the doll. I, this must be the doll that looks like the one Penny has. My, my, my. That looks so glamorous and expensive. And you're just gonna give it to me? Yep. Well, thanks, sucker. I'm out of this stupid school. She's just piecing out of the whole thing like... Cindy, where do you think you're going? <laughs> don't speak to me, peasant. I'm rich now. I don't have to put up with any of you. If you're referring to that mineral you're holding, I highly doubt it's worth what you... La 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 la, I can't hear you. You're too poor. Well, that was easier than it should have been. Isn't chemistry fun? I can't wait to mix all the stuff together. How about you take the doll instead? Oh, I don't think I... But I do. I do want her. I'm gonna take her. I'm gonna play with this doll. You're welcome. Monty, I've done my job. It's almost done. I just need to add a little bit of that chemical. But there's one problem. Oh, is Danner gonna kick you off next? Um, I don't actually know which vial to mix it with. We could go with purple, red, or green. Which one do you think? I don't know. Maybe the teacher knows. See if you can get him to spill on what this chemical mixes with. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to fish that out of him, but we'll see. What can you tell me about this? Ah, I see you've become good friends with Felix. The chemical is truly a wonder. What happens if I mix it with green, red, or purple? I don't know if I'm legally allowed to tell you. Let's just say mixing the two can lead to some explosive results. And the red one? It'll create a sort of painkiller. Highly addictive. 
it also has uses in helping the clinically awkward. So I'm guessing that's the one. It's highly addictive, clinically awkward. That would be Nugget. The purple one, same thing as what happens with green. So the red is the way to go then. Seems like you've made it uh, pretty obvious. That was very easy to get out of him. Didn't anticipate that. Okay, here it goes. Yes, I think it worked. This looks exactly like the old pills. Nice going. I don't know how you went from a vial of chemicals to pills, but you're a genius. Glad it worked. There you go, man. And there's more to come. With this going, we can restore the supply chain. We're gonna be rich. Rich is good. You can have this Monstermon card for helping me out. Pleasure doing business with you. Always is, Monty. Another day of learning fully concluded. That went pretty smoothly, actually. It's the first one in a while that felt so linear and, and straightforward. I think the puzzles overall in this game are less complicated, but that's because the original game relied a lot more on, like, taking a precise amount of money out, and if you took the wrong amount, then you had to do, like, a couple playthroughs to build up your piggy bank again, and, like, it really overcomplicated things, and it was really easy to screw up. This, with the mission map, and always starting with five dollars really simplified things, and I think it's probably for the best. Where do you think you're going? This is, this is ravenous. You haven't given me my pills yet. Well, where are they? Where are my pills? Did you get them? Give them to me. Okay, here, Jesus, there they go. Oh, you sweet, sweet drug of the gods. <laughs> you, you really are the best student I've ever had. Thank you so much. Glad I could enable your habit. I think it's, I think it's time for me to move on. <laughs> move on? I really hate Cindy, and Nugget, and Bugs, and all the children here except you. You're cool. Uh, thanks? If I'm leaving, I think you should have this. What is it? Is this to control Penny? It's a remote control for the, uh, principal's daughter. Whoa. Yeah, that's another reason I want to leave. Too many robots, too much responsibility. What does it do? There's only a few buttons on it. I think you can make her come to your location and disable her detectors and stuff. I don't know. I didn't read the manual. Well, thanks, I guess. I kind of forget what they were. I did have to learn that in a different st uh, storyline. Yep, have a nice life. Stay in school. Don't do drugs. You know the drill. Do I, though? Doodles! <laughs> Bye, Miss Applegate. Thank you for your shining example of the d don't do drugs mantra. Faculty remote. And new clothing, got the missing child shirt and the sleuth's dress. I was even just saying this episode that I was wearing my sleuthing hoodie. Now I got a dress to add to the sleuthing closet. Man on fire, I've, I've seen that one come up a, a few times in battle. <laughs> His type is unfortunate. Does anyone want to help him? And with that, we've completed everything except for the grand finale, the creature feature, start the mission by buying a battery, and then using the remote on Penny. Exciting! It'll be great! Thank you guys all so much for watching. I'll be back with the finale of Kindergarten 2 tomorrow.